Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show to you guys how you can monitor the CPU temperature on your computer. The steps that I'm going to show in this video you can use them for Windows 10 or Windows 11. The average CPU temperature is around 60 to 75 degrees. And this is for normal load. If your CPU temperature is more than this, then you should be concerned and you should see what's the reason about that. The exact temperature for your CPU depends on the type of CPU that you are using, if it's AMD or if it's Intel or which version or how many cores you are using. So in this case, we are going to use a software which is called Open Hardware Monitor. This software is an open source and it's very easy to install on your computer. You just need to have administrator rights in order to access the right sensors of your CPU. There are many other softwares that you can use about this, but this one I find really very light on the computer, which means that it doesn't occupy many resources on your computer and you can leave it run and monitor the CPU temperature during the whole time. So the, the website is this one, openhardwaremonitor.org. I can put the link on the description below so you can come directly on this page. And once you are here, you just have to click over download now. Then it will be downloaded a zip file and you just have to extract the zip file so let's extract it on the same location where it is located the zip file now we will open the folder and the file that i need to run is this one open hardware monitor.exe so i just double click over it and the application will start running so here we go now open hardware monitor it's opening and running and here we can see all the details regarding my CPU, for example, how many CPU cores I have, which in this case is CPU core 1 and CPU core 2. And over here we can see the temperatures, which are for CPU core 1, 44 degree, and for CPU core 2, 43 degrees. And this one CPU package, this is like an average of both of them, and in this case is around 45, 46 this change time by time depending on the workload that your CPU is having. For example, my CPU cores, the total workload right now is around 45% or 48 or whatever. Over here you can find also the temperature regarding your hard drive, but in this case it's not in our concern. So what I want to do right now is that I want to monitor this temperature constantly so what we'll do we'll click over cpu package with the right of the mouse and then we'll select show in tray by doing this it means that it will come over here so we click over show hidden icons here we can see that the temperature is over here it's on black so we can just click over it and then we select change color so in this way we can make it more visible to us so i'm going to select the red and then i'll click over ok and we go back again and as we can see now this is on red color and i can see it better if i want to have this on the taskbar i just grab it and put it over here so we just do a drag and drop over the taskbar and now the temperature is showing over here the next thing that you want to do is to go over options and over here we select start minimized and then we go over run on windows startup which means that once the computer is turned on you you will have this program running up and then the last one is minimize on close which means that even after i close this app the temperature will be shown over here so that's all that you have to do in order to monitor the temperature over all the time and in case that you just want to see this just once you just run the app every time that you want to see the temperature and then you just close it and that's it. But in this case, I want to monitor this temperature all over the time. So once I do all of these configurations, I close the app and here we are. The temperature is again showing over here. The CPU package, the temperature right now is 45 degree. And this number, it's pretty good because normally it should be like around 60 or 70. But in this case, the CPU is not so overloaded, so that's why it's this number. So that's all that you have to do in order to monitor your temperature of your CPU. I hope that you like this video and please do not forget to subscribe to see more similar videos like this one. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.